Hi guys, how are you this panel? Today I want to make a video uh, talking about our knife uh, designs. My knife designs getting sold in, on our website. Um, I went, um, first of all, we have a, a lot of new subscribers. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Uh, thank you guys for uh, for joining our uh, our uh, team here we have uh, we're, uh, we have great people already subscribed in the channel uh, from what I know it's so far we have a lot of woodsmen and uh, we just brought in a few uh, hunters with the new videos so I made some videos about the ammo and different uh, my techniques about hunting and that we had some pretty good uh, results on that so thank you guys for uh, joining us um i haven't posted a lot of knife videos recently so here you go i'm gonna start with one now and i want to talk about the designs uh i'm gonna put the camera down here and i'm gonna be talking about about the knives okay so for you new new people on the channel um, I want to show you the four knife designs I came up with. We're starting with this one. This is the, this was the first one. This is the Northern Woodsman. Okay. It's a, it's a six inch blade and it's a hefty knife. It's got a great handle great handle on this knife better than if you haven't used wc knives this is the most comfortable handle you've ever held in any other tool you own okay it's a three position handle you grab it one position this way so you can chop you put your little pinky in it the the, the little lanyard you hold it this way and you can chop with it that's one position, two positions is no, normal handle. And then we're moving forward and we have the front position, which you hold the knife with your two little fingers, two last fingers in the back. And you have more control on the blade towards the front. So that six inch blade right away, it becomes like a one inch blade to have control. And <clears throat> the reason we came up with this Design me and uh, William Collins WC knives is I wanted a big skinning knife. This is a big skinning knife. You see that the the front portion of it. This is for when you're cutting big. You have a, a big bear and you want to just take big swipes. This angle always stays true to what you're cutting. In because now I'm taking big swipes. So as I'm cutting big, I would not puncture. It would never come to a point as I'm skinning the big animals. So this, it's not only good for skinning, it's a pretty thick blade. You can use it for a lot of uh, wood tasks, um, assisting you with starting fires, okay? Making feather sticks. It's got one bevel 11 degrees so it's a thin knife but the thickness on the apex here in different spots it's thinner so for example here is very thin to make to to carve and then he has this point here for drawback cuts this is my most used number one favorite knife this one now we also have different designs on, on my designs we so far we have four so far have m many designs coming but so far there's four available now second favorite knife is the northern woodsman companion so this knife is being designed to be a companion to this knife so this is the knife you're gonna eat your steak with this is the knife you're gonna cut your apple it's thinner it's one eighth, one eighth thin blade. 
it's got a high saber grind to make it thin to slice and then he has this tooth here in this point to assist you cutting through legs doing draw cuts okay doing draw cuts on his tooth and he makes wicked fine fine feather sticks with this tooth and all those angles different angles in the spine is to assist you to bring to hold the knife front with your two pinkies again this rests on your hand here okay like this and you have crazy control on this little blade on this point okay this is if you want to cape a wolf or a coyote and you want to cut the bottom paw on it and then you want to work to dislocate the 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 claws to keep it on your pelt this is the knife i go to to do that and because of the belly it's got a wicked skinning belly so we achieve with this knife it's a great edc for the woods and the woodsman great for skinning okay it could be a standalone knife if you this you find this too big because not everybody likes a six inch blade like i do i like a six inch blade because i rather put this on the side of the bear if i'm ever getting attacked than the four inch blade okay so this thing it's a great standalone knife if i only have this and my axe I'm a happy man. I love this design. This is a very, very good knife for if you are doing game process. If you're not doing game process, you might not like this knife and you only like, um, I don't know, like small camping tasks, you can do it, but you might not get why is it so wide, okay? It, it's so wide so you have control and you're not putting your fingers at risk when you're really going in, doing those detailed kind of small cuts, controllable small cuts. You have a lot of blade to grab. I love this design. Now, we have another small knife, okay? And the reason is, some people don't like this, they might prefer this. This is more, it has like the cookery sweep forward, okay? You see it? It's, it's on an angle. There's videos in all of these knives on my channel. If you go on the playlist, you see a lot of things I've done with each one of them. Now this knife here, it's more... Okay, so this one is better on the pull cut, like William said. This one is better on the push cut, okay? So both are very capable of skinning. You see this belly? This is a skinning, this is a skinning belly. You skin with it. So this one you can do, I've done big deer, I've done small deer, I've done small game, I've done grouse, everything, it's, it's good. And this one works awesome for birds, for grouse. When you wanna hollow the, take the guts out from the inside on the chest cavity, because of this, this belly, it fits in any angle, it fits perfect in the bird to scoop inside awesome knife and you've got you got the scandy here for your for your woodwork as you do on this one both have scandy in the back and the way it is scandy you can take big chunks of wood out okay and for whittling awesome knife now i've been using just only this knife and my axe And my axe recently, okay? This is my tools I take with me. Just to, just to make sure this guy, this little guy over here can take care of all the tasks I need to be done in the woods. Skinning big, big game, small game, starting my fires, eating my steak. I've only used this since I got it. Now, we're going to another design, the number four, final design that's been released right now. Okay, this is the Elite, 
the elite chopper we call it okay you see it it's much bigger than this one much bigger than all of them okay with same similarities you see all my blades all every knife i ever design it's gonna be number one priority is game process number one okay so other other designers and other people that uh, you know they like knives they put maybe wood um, wood processing number one or making spoons or or whatever they they because it's that's what they do my designs number one is game process number two is all these knives are fighting capable okay so this one you're gonna see again on the playlist how you could take every all of these knives and the aspects that we have for our meat process and our woodcraft is also relevant to a protection knife okay so now this guy here it's dirty this is the elite blade it has scandy here it's got the sweep that this one has here okay and it's designed to be primer knife and you also need a companion knife at least for the beginning till you get the design in your hand like you start using it a lot as much as i did when you start using it a lot you can only be with this knife again there's videos about me gutting with this knife there's videos uh me um starting fires with it making spoons everything with this blade only okay i love this knife this this some people see it and they think it's a cookery design i can see how you see that but it's got different qualities than the cookery for one it's not as heavy it's lighter okay it's a lighter blade two it's wide here it's a lot wide here so when you're chopping okay you're able to chop bigger bigger wood because your knife is not thin okay it's not here it's a lot so you have see that so you can chop big big wood with it you can take six inch trees down with this knife you chop with it okay you hold it back and you chop with it and at the same time you can have a control to be close and skin skin with it okay and you have the scandy here and you bring it forward and you can do you can do your feather sticks okay you got scandy here and you can do your crafting with the belly now one thing i do with this knife is i keep changing I keep changing my sharp sharpening sharpening techniques with it okay now if i'm gonna go do meat with it and i'm gonna go skin a game and do and do a meat process i make a fine fine edge that you could shave your your hairs with it right right now this doesn't have that edge okay you see all that wood right now i let i did my uh, meat process and i did my um Find tasks, whittling and stuff with it. And the edge, it's not hair popping sharp. It's sharp, but it's not hair popping sharp. This is how you take this knife out like this now and you go chop. You're not gonna have a fine edge on a striking tool, on a chopping tool, okay? Both of these, they don't have fine edges. Because if you have a fine edge, especially with this, all of these are in ABL, okay? You can get it even thinner and finer than what you can get with other steels because this is Williams heat treat. The blade gets thin at the edge, very thin, more thin than you ever used to because the, the, the edge stays all together. It doesn't become dust or rolling. It's gonna stay. So it's gonna stay being sharp and thin. So now you're having an edge that you can cut hair with. There is videos of me slicing tomatoes that you could see through it with AEBL. So I'm not gonna take this edge and go chop with it because of course I'm gonna have edge problems, okay? So this is a knife you gotta play with your sharpening. When you wanna take it out, 
and beat on it and chop wood, hardwood and everything with it, have the edge a little bit dull and you won't have any problem with it. See, this one has been through hell and back with me. Okay? Awesome blade. So these are the designs. Any questions you have in all of these knives are available on our website for sale. If anyone, if any of you guys is interested to buy any of those knives, go on the website. I'm going to have a link on the description. Check them out and we'll send them to you. Uh, usually we're far north. So it might take like a couple weeks to get if you're south. Uh, now, I said, I mentioned that there's new designs coming. Okay. Now we're, it's not going to be, it's, it's not going to be a knife that takes anything out of these ones. Okay. So if you want to keep making a collection with our logo, okay. You could do it. It's not like, oh, I bought this knife. Now they came up with this knife. It does the same thing. We, I'm never going to do that, okay? I'm very happy with this knife. There's nothing I want to change to this knife. I can only have this knife and be happy. But we're going to different tasks. You can never have only one knife if you're into all the hunting I'm into. And if you're a woodsman, okay? You could be a hunter and have your little propane, propane uh, heating stove, which is nothing wrong with that. And, uh, you know, you can kill your animal and take the meat off on the right there on the field. But I'm a woodsman. I'm going to go out. I'm going to build my own fire. I'm, I want to be able to build my own shelter. I want to be able to set my snares, get some rabbits, go, come back, get my rabbits. Okay. I'm not a trapper. But I do snare and uh, I do hunt everything. So I want to be able to skin everything, keep my pelts. There's not a lot of money for them, but still, like, if I can get five, six hundred dollars for a wolf pelt, if I can uh, get fifty dollars for coyotes, <laughs> it's better than nothing, you know. So anyway, you do ten coyotes, you pay off a knife. You pay off your knives. So anyway, so thank you guys for watching. I don't want to make a very long video. It's already long. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.